Let's just talk about it right now because we have the stats here, and this is this is horrifying. Laura and I were we didn't know this. Um, but I'll just read this. The Texas has the highest uh, maternal mortality rate in the developed world. Uh, maternal mortality rate has increased 26.6% in the U.S. Uh, between 2004 and 2014. These stats were given to us by Adrian. Um, reasons, clinic closing because of lack of funding. Texas did not take the Medicaid expansion. And the legislator cut $73.6 million from family planning budget. That You want to, I mean, t tell us about that. That's horrific. Texas has has the uh, ability to have some of the worst statistics in the United States, <laughs> whether it is health care or high school graduation rates. Uh, we could, oh man, see, we, we're going backwards in a lot of things. I read that between 2010 and 2014, the maternal mortality rate for women in Texas doubled. Wow. And that means 600 plus women died because as a result of having a child or being pregnant, that's scary. That's absolutely scary. I have uh, children. I have a daughter and a daughter-in-law who are of, the, uh, of childbearing ages. And I hate to think that we have women dying just because they became pregnant. And black women are dying at a higher rate than anyone. Wow. And so we have got to stop letting black women die because they're pregnant. There's no excuse for that at all. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's, um, it's embarrassment. It's beyond embarrassment, but I can't think of a better word. It's just embarrassment as a nation, as a whole of people to have these statistics. Um, yes. And it's not, it's a, it's a really a human, um, crisis. It is. And the Texas legislator is not, I mean, it's not like a, something on the top of their priority of taking care of. No. But it is something that we can do in the federal government. There is a bipartisan bill that is before Congress that where the responsibility to reduce mortality, the mortality rate would be shared between the federal government and the states. And so that's something that we need to look into because it's, it's a huge issue that is not getting better because Texas rates are not getting better. So it affects all of the United States. Right. Right. You mentioned the term. Uh, we're, yeah, sorry. That's just. Uh, oh, it, it's hurtful. It is, and every I just you know we we do a lot of interviews and we do a lot of work, and every day I'm faced with another statistic about mm -hmm. this nation that is just. It is not what I was raised. You know, I, you and I grew up around the same era. You know, good old go USA, and, and we're the best, mm -hmm. number one, and we're none of those things. Mm -mm. We we're not taking care of the people. No. We're taking care of the companies and we're so focused on money and profits right, that the right. people just are, are tossed aside <clears throat> exactly. and our values are not being upheld.